ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਵਾਰਸਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੋਲਿਸ਼ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਆਡਰੇਜ ਡੂਡਾ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਨੇ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਅਤੇ ਰੂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਾਲੇ ਬਣੇ ਹੋਏ ਤਨਾਅਪੂਰਨ ਹਾਲਾਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਚਿੰਤਾ ਪ੍ਰਗਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਮੱਦੇਨਜ਼ਰ ਯੂਕਰੇਨੀਅਨ ਦੀ ਆਮਦ ਨੂੰ ਤੇਜ਼ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਅਤੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਉਪਾਵਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ 117 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਨਿਵੇਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਘੋਸ਼ਣਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਓਵਰ 2 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਯੂਕਰੇਨੀਅਨਸ ਹੈਵ ਫਲੈਡ ਥੇਅਰ ਹੋਮਸ it is a refugee crisis across this region and even as we see people here in Poland and elsewhere opening their homes and their communities uh, to support you need to know as i have said today that canada is here to help our government will match donations to the canadian red cross U- ukraine humanitarian crisis appeal up to 30 million dollars because canadians have been so incredibly generous uh, in being concerned about the people of ukraine so we're raising that from our 10 million dollar original commitment but we're also going to be providing immediate assistance where it's needed most with 50 million dollars from our 100 million in humanitarian aid previously announced which has been already allocated to experienced partners with the capacity to help displaced populations including organizations like the world food program and save the children and others and of course canada is going to be welcoming ukrainians uh to our country so we've actually uh, uh provided an additional funding of 117 million dollars to support special immigration measures uh including accelerating uh the treatment of files uh, so that we can get Ukrainians fleeing for their lives to Canada sooner uh and help ease the burden of Poland and na- neighboring countries uh that are doing so much uh, in this conflict right now Putin's callous disregard for human life is absolutely unacceptable it is very clear that he has made the choice to specifically target civilians now canada has joined the largest referral to the international criminal court in history and offered assistance to expedite this work the world will continue to make putin accountable for his war crimes here in warsaw I will be taking advantage of uh, her being here to meet uh, with Vice President Harris a little later today uh, and as always the transatlantic unity is strong we stand alongside friends and allies in Europe against Putin's attack in Ukraine and in support of Ukraine's people the free democratic peace seeking ties that bind us are as strong as ever uh, to people fleeing Putin's war in Ukraine of welcoming people fleeing um violence fleeing war uh, or choosing to improve their lives uh, the fact that we have well over a million uh, Canadians who are proud uh, to claim Polish ancestry is an example of uh, the fact that Canada was built by people coming to the country from all over the world building a better future for themselves uh we have many many uh, Ukrainian Canadians in Canada already who've been there for generations uh, and they are eager uh, to welcome friends and family who are fleeing for their lives so Canada has put forward special immigration measures uh, that will allow people uh, to come very quickly to Canada will allow them uh, to work and study when they come here i know many of them will hope to be able to return uh to Ukraine uh, after this conflict but uh, many will also choose to uh, continue their lives in Canada and we look forward to welcoming in as many as we possibly can in regards to NATO uh, we have already announced that we are strengthening our uh, leadership of the enhanced forward presence uh, battle group in Latvia and committed uh, more support and troops to uh, NATO's eastern flank 